Hey, what's going on guys and girls? It's Dave from Ghetto Van Adventures. Oh yeah. So, today we're going to talk about, um, and this has been asked to me a few times, why when I take my car in for a simple repair or something simple, do I always get this estimate for something massive? You know, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go through a few things with you just to explain it. Now, I worked in I've worked in a lot of shops over my life, and uh, um, first thing I'm gonna tell you is you have to find a shop that you find is um, trustworthy. Like you have to be able to go in and you know say okay fine you know what I trust these guys what they say they've never steered me wrong they've always done good work I'm always satisfied that's the type of shop that you have to find and also it has to fit your budget too because shops vary on degree of cost like you know like a, a dealership is way more expensive usually parts and service than um, just like a regular shop down the road but when you look at it also a dealership might have certain tools and certain equipment that's needed to diagnose your problem that you're having with your car. So you have to look at it that way also. Okay, so say you took your uh, uh, car in and I was going to work on it and you were getting uh, your tires rotated or you know you were getting your snow tires put on uh, for the winter. So. I would take your car in the shop and when I'm driving in I'd be listening to see if there's any weird clunks or noises or anything like that and get it in there put it up on the hoist and while I'm there I'm gonna give it a look around when I pull off your wheels I'm gonna take a look at your brakes uh, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna check out your suspension I'll get the tires to pull also I'll check your tie rods your ball joints um, Give it a look underneath to see if there's any exhaust hangers missing, any oil leaks, anything like that. Uh, tire wear, for example. I'll look at your tires. Are they wearing properly? It, like, that's a good indicator of a worn suspension part. So if your tire is uh, if your tire is worn on one side, well, you know, chances are it's a tie rod or whatever the case may be. So you know, I'll check that out and I'll report all this. I'll write it all down. And usually what service does is it puts together an estimate on what needs to be fixed. Now, that's where people get alarmed, okay? So, you know, you get your bill and you're expecting, you know, $40 or $50 or whatever it is to rotate your tires or to put on your snows or whatever. And then all of a sudden you get this estimate for $500. Well, yeah, because, you know, you need two tie rods and you need an alignment or you need a wheel bearing or you know whatever now some of the stuff can wait or you know I pull a tire off and I look and you got like a millimeter brake pad left or your brake your rotors are all chewed up because you have no pads left. like come on you know some of the stuff can wait like let's be honest with you you have uh, uh, you know if you pull in I say well the gasket around your transmission is uh, seeping now keep an eye on your transmission fluid and you know, you'll be okay. But some of the stuff like suspension, brakes, yeah, you need to have that addressed. You know, like this is safety stuff. And you have to ask, like, when when somebody says to you, like, there's measurements for everything. Don't kid yourself. Like, you can have a measurement done on everything. So if somebody says, there's too much play in your ball joint. Well, you can actually measure that out and say, okay, what is the measurement? And, you know, yeah, you, can, you can be technical on them. Yeah, that's that's easily asked and a lot of people don't measure it like as a mechanic you just know when the ball joint's gone you just know when the tie rod's gone because you can feel it you get to know that feeling okay so that's something you can look at now what I always suggest people do is ask for their old parts back always ask for their old parts back because that way you know that the parts being put on um, if you don't trust that shop, take it to another shop and get a second opinion. It doesn't hurt. Um, now, my motto is with suspension parts, I never skimp on suspension parts. I never use the cheap import stuff because if you're going to keep the car, 
you're going to be replacing it sooner than you want to because it's cheap stuff. Where if you're going to just get rid of the car and you need to pass the safety, you're going to pass the problem on to somebody else and stick a cheap car down and let them deal with it, right? Because that's what somebody's just done to you if you bought a used car. So, you know, always ask for your parts back. Find a shop that you're comfortable with. If somebody tells you something and you don't believe them, take it to another shop. Take it there and get them to check it out and see what they come back with. Um, but, you know, don't get me wrong, there is some dirty shops and there is some dirty mechanics. But for the most part, everybody is pretty decent and they want to provide you with a service because if, if you get a bad feeling about a shop or a mechanic or something like that, you won't come back. And they've just lost a bunch so, of work. You know, I, I, uh, I say, uh, when you get, when you get a, uh, an estimate after getting an oil change and your tires rotated, or you know, your snow tires put on, your summer tires put on, and it's, you know, it could be $1,000, you might need struts, you might need rear, rear shocks or rear struts, you might need new tires, you might need ball joints, tie rods, who knows? There's tons of stuff that you can need. But don't be alarmed because that is part of the job of a mechanic. And most shops require you to do that. Like they say, we want you to check over the person's car because you know what? If you go out the door, number one's a safety hazard. If you go out the door and if you crashed your car, and you can say, whoa, I just had it in the shop. What did they do to it? You know, so there's a liability aspect of it too that a shop should be checking this stuff over because you don't want to let an unsafe car go out the door without some, you know, without somebody noticing. But, you know, you have to find a mechanic that you can trust. That way, when you go in there and he says, you know what, your your tires are getting down there pretty good. You come in for an oil change, your tires are getting worn out, you know, probably by the next oil change, you should consider, you know, replacing them. Or your brake pads are down. So, you know, next oil change, come in and, you know, maybe you should think about getting a brake job done. Anyway, I hope this helped you out, guys. You know, mechanics aren't bad guys. They're looking out for you, they're looking out for me, because you're driving down the road. At me. And I'm coming at you. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You know, if you've had a bad experience with a mechanic, or you can get a good story to tell, please, please, please put it in the comment section because we we don't get a lot of comments and we really like to see some comments happening because you know what, it's important that, I wanna hear what you're thinking. I wanna see what you want me to do something on and I wanna know if you think I'm right, wrong, or in between. So leave a comment, uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it, subscribe to the channel. If this is your first time here, smash that subscribe button and uh, follow us. Anyway guys, take care, be safe on the road, and 